The time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things, of shoes and chips and ceiling wax and cabbages and kings. I'm John Lorenzer. I'm a background actor from Middletown, New York. When I was in college, I took a photography course and went out to be a photographer. Unfortunately, I was a terrible businessman. I had good photography, but lousy business. So I spent most of my 40 years as a truck driver delivery man. It just happened the day I quit that uh, somebody said, oh, they're doing a film in Middletown. And I thought, oh, second act. And I've been doing it now for four years. The food that made America. See, without extras, wouldn't that be very boring? <laughs> He'll show me again. Yeah, there. Right there in front of my face. <laughs> I'm a background actor. I, I go where they tell me and do what they tell me to do. Some people can't sit around and do absolutely nothing all day long, but it's fun. There's never a starving actor. Uh, there's always plenty of food around. <laughs> They're not just actors. There's dentists and lawyers and real estate people. And we're a necessity. <laughs> I've lived alone for oh, quite a while now. <laughs> I've been married. They kept wanting me to go to work. <laughs> Nobody told me the upside of loneliness. You don't have to worry about anybody. You don't have any in-laws to worry about. In the winter, I tend to not do much of anything. I tend to stay home and be warm. This is my kit for background. A electric vest with battery pack. Keep us nice and warm when they want to shoot a summer scene in 20 degree weather. The toe warmers and the hand warmers. Maybe a portfolio to be writing on. For that time, they serve steak in those stupid plastic. We have solid knife. When you're sitting around doing absolutely nothing, you really need a book of some sort. Extendable back scratcher. And for mealtimes, we don't want to mess up our costume. a portable fan that will run all day. Everybody goes, oh, where'd you get that? Amazon, where else would you get it? My last bit of kit gadget is my seat cane. For those times when the director decides he's got to rearrange the cameras. I'm world famous here in Middletown, New York. I had a uh, honorable mention from Time Magazine and uh, had a few pictures done in a uh, motocross magazine called Crash and Burn. And I still do some photography. I can't help it. <laughs> I want to travel. That's all I've ever really wanted to do. Life is about the story. If you don't get a good story out of it, what good is doing it? Why should we be in such desperate haste to succeed and in such desperate enterprises? If a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it is because he hears a different drummer. Let him step to the music which he hears, no matter how measured or far away. That's my aim in life. Not to be hassled by life. Hi, I'm Jill Mack. I'm from East Amherst, New York, and I consider myself to be a background actor. My job was to be an operating room technician in orthopedic surgeries, and um, I did it for 36 years, and I loved it. But towards the end of my career, I really started doing background a lot more. My son, who is 31, was a teenager, and I saw an ad to be background for poultry guys. And I thought, to be a zombie, how fun that would be to do it with my son. 
He hated every second of it, and I just loved it. I worked in the operating room at the time, and I remember going to work, and I still had feathers on my hair, and I had glue like on my nose. I just so wish I would have started this earlier in my life. This is the shirt I wore for A Quiet Place too, so you can look for me in this shirt. So this is um, a book that I keep track of, everything I've done. I write down the dates, and now I've been writing what I, what I wear so that I can find myself. I'll always get a great price without any pressure. I would say I've been doing it maybe for the past five years. I just am so grateful every time I'm on set. I love the action. I love all the cameras, even the waiting, you know. This is my husband, Gary Mack, and we've been married for 36 years. Um, we met at Pizza Hut, he was my boss. When she first started, uh, she found out of this movie they were making in downtown Buffalo, but she loved it. It's her, her biggest hobby, so I'm all for it. Um, you know, there's a lot of times when she's gone for a long time, but it just gives me more time to go golfing, so I'm, I'm all good with it. It's funny, because in my life, I get into things sometimes by mistake, in my day, I mean, I went to a lot of concerts. This is my jacket, my concert jacket that I made to wear to all my Elton John concerts, which I did. So these were, I would say, the last maybe five years of concerts. I shove them in there. When my kids were younger, they did some Fisher Price modeling. That's my son, that's my daughter, and that's her daughter. It's like a generation. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. I the love music. I do play the guitar. Swish, swish, swish. We take music classes together, and I take a dancing class with her. Just important in our family, music and art and dancing and just being happy. This is the story of a little boy from the London suburbs. See, he's playing the piano. You like the piano? Who's that? A Beatles. The Beatles, that's right. So this is my collection of Beatles and other stuff I've collected my whole lifetime. This says Beatles hair, supply is limited. <laughs> this is my very favorite room in the whole house. <laughs> Most of these pictures I've taken myself from the concerts I've gone to. I have Ringo Starr, Bob Dylan, Stevie Nicks. Whatever concert I've been to, I always try to get a good picture so I could put it up on my wall. <laughs> Gotta give you something to do while you're doing something else, right? So this is what I um, use for my movie wardrobe. Um, a lot of times they like plain clothing. I usually bring like about six changes of clothes. For Christmas, I have this. Um, if I ever do medical stuff, which I love, I have scrubs. The last thing I did, I had one line. I said, thank you. And I was like, oh my God, I had a line. I am just happy being in the background. It gives you the chance to do something that you never would do, you know, in your life or be something you never would be, and I just love it. My name is Jennifer Ann Galvez. I live in Pittsburgh, New York, and I am an actor. I started doing background acting when I was 21. I gave him a shot for the pain. I wish there was something more I could do. Town treats you like family, not another number. I did it I for a full 10 years. Else. This is what we were expecting. And I did nothing but background Shopping, acting. Gifts, cooking, decorations. And the you would have to stand outside in heels and be an executive assistant and walk down the street all day long. I was able to get my Screen Actors Guild card because of background acting, which, by the way, I had to fight for because I had to prove that that was me saying the words. 
So you have a holding area for the non-union actors who are background players, and then a holding area for the Screen Actors Guild background players. And they get a nice heated room. <laughs> and if you're non-union, you get peanut butter and jelly. But if you're a Screen Actors Guild member, you get spaghetti and meatballs. Like, that's the difference. A truck hit my car. Insurance offered a low amount to settle my case accident. I wasn't sure what my case was worth. I called the Barnes Firm. I think as a background actor, you're never seen as a real person anyway. What is co-work? Co-work is a shared workspace that allows all its... It was years and years of doing background work before I actually got lines. It was heartbreaking. There's a sense of pride inside of me going, years ago, if I wasn't working these background jobs, we wouldn't have been faces as Asian actors. Being, you know, kind of looked over for the blonde-haired, blue-eyed female that I could never be. I have played so many nurses. I have played so many au pairs or nannies. I want to play somebody different. So that's what makes me wake up in the morning and say, I need to get up. I need to keep pushing. My mom, of course, was a Filipino nurse, shocker. And she worked 16 hours a day, seven days a week. As soon as I got married, she left. She went to the Philippines and she said, I'm done now. I'm all done. She said, you have to live your life just like I lived mine. So you think about all the challenges that your parents face to get you where you are now, which makes me want to strive even harder to really be successful in this business. I am currently an event planner. I run my own business. Hi, Jen. How are you? Good. Oh, the place looks gorgeous. Hey. I love weddings. I love events. I love just the ability for people to celebrate. She said to me, elegant, um, regal. She likes the gold touches, which I think the chargers would work well with. I actually have a TV commercial um, after that. Oh, awesome. So I'm hoping that it could be at the same time that I don't have to come back to New York. I create in either my event planning life or my acting life. You're constantly creating. It's like having two children, but in reality, if I were to pick, it would always be acting. But listen, this is the deal we made. This is how we decided to do this. Now that I think about it, this is all making sense, actually. I haven't seen you since the kids. What do you mean you Misconception that I think a lot of people have is that acting is not a real job. You know, acting is something you do on the side, it's a hobby. And that kind of hurts my feelings because I believe that acting for me is a passion. What do I get to do for myself, by myself? You get to get in your car. And I think it's really hard to see family and friends when they say what you're doing is not worth it. That's a childish pipe dream that's never going to happen. It comes with a lot of hardships, such as, I need to make a living. I need to stop the acting. I need to get a real job. I need to get married. And then when you do it, you realize you're still feeling like there's this hole in your heart. And, uh, and I wasn't feeding my soul. For me to be a working actor every single day of my life, that's what keeps me going. Am I making a million dollars? Probably not but it, it feeds me in a way that I can't even explain to people that don't understand it. If you're not happy with what you're doing, you need to do something to change it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing something to change it. And I think I'm very, very happy with where I am right now. And I think that's the point.